on these trucks from the transmission, those two lines right up there, the top line has that factory joint on it, goes to a soft line, and the other, that line's the feed line. The other line you can see has a soft hose on it with just a little forward pinch clamp. That's the return line. I've had that joint leak before when I get into like, when I'm up hunting when it's like zero degrees out. And so I've been wanting to take care of that. It doesn't leak any other time, but here's what I decided to do. I've wanted to delete where the transmission line feeds into the bottom of the radiator. So I'm, I disconnected the line from the return line. So this goes up to the cooler, that soft line comes over here. This hard line comes up here and it's that factory joint. So what I did, cut this line or unscrew this line, remove the clamp from this one, put it out on the bench. I'm going to take and unscrew this line, take it up here and cut it right there. Then I'm going to take this line right here, which goes to the cooler. I'm going to connect it right to there. I'll show you how I'm going to keep that line right there connected onto that up there here in just a moment. So once I cut the line, it's going to look something like this. This is the little line I already cut that's just garbage. You could theoretically put a soft line on there and just clamp it down, and it would probably hold. But this is what I'm going to do. I just cut that and made that little kind of bubble flare on the end of the line which is basically all Ford did when they did a soft uh, field disconnects piece like that. So what I'm doing is just take a double flare kit, stick your tubing up through it, take your little die, stick your tubing up that much, put that in there, clamp down on it until it just goes right to the point you want it. All uh, easy sounding when you're up here on the bench. Only challenging thing is I'm gonna be working with just a little bit of line right up there. So let's see how it goes. All right, here's what we're doing. Or how, at least how we're doing it. Got that line cut right there. Now I've got the flaring tool clamped on there. That double flare bit in there and that piece of it you can see it's a super tight fit but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an angle on this so that I can get on that nut actually you know what I might do I might just put it in a socket and then just run that down with two hands because I just need to hold the tool while I crank. All right, there we are. Right there. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Put a little bubble flare on the end of that guy. Now that hose down there in the bag needs to come up and attach to it, but it's not quite long enough. So I cut the hose that was on the line I just cut off. Cut that off. I'm going to put this end on there. Put that barbed end in the other one. Fortunately I had an extra 3 8 inch barb. So I'm going to do that and put the uh, loom back on this and then we are ready to start putting the water pump back on. And just like that, Bob's your uncle.